Well, we're in the last week of the volleyball season before the state tournament, and in Class A, the qualifying teams have already earned their district titles. And over in Grand Island, the Islanders had an opportunity to do something it hasn't done in a decade. Local Fort's Mason Kearney captured the moment where dreams became reality. It's been a trying last 10 years of volleyball in Grand Island through the highs and lows. A new era began when longtime coach Bill Root retired in the fall of 2019. So the current regime is all this senior class has ever known. And they've achieved what no other team has, has in a decade of trying. Nobody says making the state tournament is easy. There's a lot of ups and downs throughout the year. And you have to work your butt off to get to this point. There was going to be ups, there was going to be downs, but we just had to come out on top. At Grand Island Senior High, it's a feat that hasn't been accomplished in 10 years. I think the expectation for us was to make it to state this year. After how we did this season and what we were seated, we knew that we had a good chance and we just had to execute. Execute the Islanders did. <laughs> After earning the number one seed in districts, Grand Island swept through the bracket to make it back to state for the first time since 2013. It just feels so unreal and it's something that we've always been a big goal for us, but now that it's actually happened, it's unreal. The fact that we get there, it's surreal at this point. It's a rewarding accomplishment for a senior class that's laid the foundation. From just two wins as freshmen in 2020 to 27 as seniors. It's all on the girls. They put in the time, they deserve the recognition, and they deserve to be here. I think our team has worked so hard, not just this year, for the past four years to build this program back up. We proved how we've worked really hard, and we've trained for this moment. But the Islanders feel they have more to prove, starting with the Class A first round at PBA on Wednesday. We hope to make it past um, the first round, obviously, and to do well, just make a good push and show teams that we're really good. The Class A state tournament begins Wednesday, November 1st. The Islanders are still awaiting their seeding and opponent for next week. 